Welcome back everybody to another video. In today's video, I've got a short little Lego Star Wars video that I wanted to uh, address to, uh, to everyone on the uh, on YouTube. Uh, a couple of people have posted about this on Instagram, but I uh, figured I would uh, toss it over on the YouTube side of things. And that's pretty much regarding the uh, new 2020 summer sets uh, might be delayed. Uh, if we, or if you guys have paid attention a little bit on the, uh, the social media, you guys would have known uh, that the uh, Avenger sets, I believe, are... Uh, pushed back and uh, just really due to everything and pretty much why the Star Wars sets might be delayed is because the the main factory that produces the Star Wars sets down in Mexico uh, just recently opened up again like like last week like a week ago so uh, there's heavy rumors and with lego.com uh, changing the 501st Battle Pack and the Razor Crest release dates to just coming soon and not August 1st and September 1st anymore there's strong rumors it might be pushed back a little bit maybe about a month maybe october maybe middle of october hopefully not much later uh but there's also of course the flip side of that where some people are saying you know maybe these could be released sooner uh you know than august 1st and september 1st i doubt that i don't think there's any reason for lego to do that really and i just don't think it's even possible at this point uh if it weren't for all the, the virus stuff going around um, and you know the factories being shut down then potentially uh, but I feel strongly right now though that the uh, Star Wars summer sets might not be coming out uh, until maybe October 1st or maybe all of them maybe September 1st I'm not too sure what it's going to do with the the pre-order on the Razor Crest I'd assume your order's still going to stay fine uh, through Amazon and lego.com uh, you know they'll ship it out when they do receive them or when they do uh, you know, produce them and plan to ship them out. You should be fine with that. But uh, yeah, guys, so uh, again, I guess for we only know these two sets for a fact. I guess we technically don't know the rest of the Star Wars wave since it's not on lego.com yet. Uh, but it's safe to assume that, you know, all of them will be in the same, uh, you know, niche and maybe every single Star Wars set for the year will be pushed back a little bit. So uh, yeah, just a quick little video, guys, uh, just in case you guys were wondering. So even in this regard, if the Final First Battle Pack giveaway uh, you know, is, is a success, uh, on August 1st, I might not be able to go get the set. So, um, pretty much I'll just keep the giveaway going until when the, uh, 501st battle pack set, um, you know, gets, gets released and, you know, we'll, we'll keep the same tiers I posted and, uh, who knows guys. So better opportunity to give away a couple more. So, uh, that's pretty much all for this video guys. I'm going to get over to my dad's and film some more videos. Uh, that's where I'm heading right now. Uh, yeah. I want to thank you guys all for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Stay tuned for you guys later. Bye guys. 5% off on your next Lego purchase. Be sure to use code LIFEBRICK. Uh, that's capital L I F E BRICK at republicbricks.com for 5% off your next order. We'll pretty much pay for your shipping or get you a couple dollars off. They sell old Lego minifigures, sets, mystery boxes, and more. I've got a couple videos on my channel uh, showing the products. Uh, so be sure to use code LIFEBRICK on your next order for 5% uh, for off.